Why would anybody want to move to the great state of Texas? I'll tell you, we're going to do it right now. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with Market Experts Realty and the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. And I absolutely love living in Texas, as well as helping people from all over the country and the world make the move to the great state of Texas. But why would you do that? Why would you want to move here? I'll tell you. Texas is an incredible state for economic opportunity, family opportunity, diversity. We have an incredible, you know, breadth and depth and width of, of uh, land and uh, city size and culture. And it's an incredibly friendly place to be. As a matter of fact, that's where the name of the state comes from is the friendliness of the people here. So we'd love to have you. If you're thinking about making a move here, by all means, let's get into the details of what may uh, turn your interest to the great state of Texas. Number one, opportunity. Texas has made it very easy to move to the area, whether you're an individual, a family, or a business. We've had a tremendous number of corporate headquarters relocate here from East Coast, West Coast, uh, Northeast, because of the low tax scenario we have here. Especially as an individual, Texas does not have a personal income tax. So you'll pay your federal, but we don't have a state income tax. We do have property taxes, and folks from other states occasionally feel like those are high, but relative to the total amount taxed to live in Texas is a low tax environment. It tends to be an incredibly vibrant job market. A lot of that has to do with the amount of jobs that are coming here because of big corporate relocations, but also the encouragement of the entrepreneurial spirit here in Texas. We also have plenty of room to grow and expand, so we don't have the congestion of some of the um, you know, larger cities in other parts of the country. We have significant amounts of land available to continue to grow. So economically speaking, from a job perspective, uh, from a cost of living perspective, relatively low cost of living compared to the amount of opportunity. So really an incredible place to be as a company, as an individual, as a family, in regard to what income could you earn, how low could your expenses be, and your financial future. So Texas has a lot to offer when it comes to opportunity. Number two is diversity. And I mean diversity of definitions of diversity. We have a diversity of landscapes. We have a diversity of city sizes. We have ethnic diversity, cultural diversity, diversity in languages, diversity in political leanings. We have just about everything you could be looking for here in Texas. You can see the differences in culture from Austin to Houston to Dallas to Corpus Christi and Brownsville, McAllen, all over the country. I mean, all over the state. At one point, Texas was its own country. It was a republic. Um, but there are incredible uh, amounts of diversity in just about every category possible. So if you come from one cultural background, you're going to find other people in Texas that share that cultural background, but you're also going to find, generally speaking, an incredibly welcoming and hospitable uh, variety of cultures. And so uh, one of the things I love about Texas, in almost every major city, there are festivals. There may be an Italian festival or a Mexican heritage festival or an African American heritage festival or things that have nothing to do with language and ethnicity, dance festivals and arts festivals and things like that. And I know other states have those things, but Texas has doubled down and committed on the friendliness factor, the hospitality factor, hospitality factor of being able to be welcoming of a variety of cultures. Now, when you think about the variety of landscapes and the diversity of opportunities, you look at you know Austin, which has become a fairly big city. It's the capital of Texas, and it's in the hill country. You look at Dallas-Fort Worth, which is a big enough community that there's diversity within Dallas-Fort Worth. But to the west, you're getting into kind of you know north central Texas and kind of some rolling plains. And you get into the east, you're getting closer to kind of the piney woods of far east Texas and Louisiana. When you head to the south, you're headed towards the coast and the Gulf. When you get down. Uh, into Galveston and you get closer and closer as you head southwest to the border of Mexico. When you get way, way out west, you get into kind of the stereotypical tumbleweeds of kind of the western movies. And as you move to the north, you get close. You're starting to move out towards the Rocky Mountains into the panhandle of Texas in a much different climate. So, you know, you've got a variety of weather patterns because you have such a, a large landmass. Obviously, far north, you get snow and things like that. Far south, we're dealing with tropical storms and hurricanes. So there is an incredible diversity 
uh, of people and cultures and cities and landscapes, um, and they're all exciting and positive and, uh, in my opinion, very welcoming. So regardless of what you're looking for, there's a very good chance you're going to find it in Texas, as well as things you weren't looking for that should be really uh, enriching in your life. Number three is housing. And there's an incredible amount of opportunity in housing, especially relative to some of the other parts of the country where lots of people are moving to Texas from, you know, California, Florida, the Northeast, even lots of the Midwest, where the relative cost of housing and the opportunity for housing here in Texas is really, really attractive. There are absolutely places in Texas where you can still get really uh, impressive, safe, exciting housing under $200,000. Now, obviously in bigger cities, and in higher end markets and more desirable areas, you can go well into the multi-millions of dollars. But Texas style architecture, um, you know, tends to be, you know, stereotypically kind of a ranch style brick exterior home. But we have got, you know, the full spectrum of housing uh, and it really is an attractive place to be. We have a lot of people that move here from other states where the cost of housing is quite a bit higher and they end up buying multiple properties here. So they sell a house in California or New York or Florida or something like that. They move here and with the equity from that home, they buy a personal home that's bigger, newer, nicer, and a second home as maybe a rental investment or maybe for other family members. And as crazy as that sounds, it happens all the time. In Texas, you're gonna find a lot of single family detached homes, traditional house with a yard that's private. You're gonna find uh, quite a bit of homes on land where you have a house on one or two or 10 acres. We have plenty of condos and townhomes and zero lot line. Uh, we have over 55, we have over 65 communities. Uh, we've got a lot of urban density in city centers where you've got you know, high-end apartments as well as kind of affordable housing and really everything in between. But if you're in another part of the country thinking about a move to Texas, the fact remains that you'll find just about anything you're looking for uh, and just about every price range you're looking for. We are a big, big state with lots of housing opportunities. And the good news is we've got a lot of land and a lot of development still happening. There's a lot of new construction in just about every market. In Texas, we have been on an economic boom for 10 plus years and, and don't see any end in sight in the near term. So as far as housing goes, it's still a great time to purchase a home that's going to continue to appreciate in value, but it is still a good time to buy a home because interest rates are extremely low and housing opportunities are very, very broad. So lots to be excited about as far as housing in the great state of Texas. Uh, if we could ever help you, of course, that is what we do on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team here at Market Experts Realty. We would love to earn your trust and help educate and lead and guide and advocate for you as you buy a home, sell a home, maybe do both, or even invest here in the great state of Texas. Our license is statewide. We operate predominantly here in North Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth areas, but we would absolutely love to help you make a move and find an ideal home for you if that's what you're looking for. Number four is education, and Texas is a powerhouse for education on almost every level. Certainly, we have our areas where our ratings maybe aren't quite where we want to, but let's start with higher education. As far as colleges and universities, Texas has some incredible opportunities. The University of Texas is probably our best known college, uh, maybe as much for athletics as for academics, but just a powerhouse of academics, uh, involvement, research, leadership, uh, and certainly, you know, a, a Big 12 athletics contender in a lot of ways, you know, football, basketball, baseball, uh, track and field, and on and on and on. You've got Rice University down in Houston, which is basically an Ivy League institution. Uh, unbelievably high levels of academics, a very, very well-respected institution. You've got Texas A&M, you've got Baylor, University of Houston, Texas Tech, University of Texas at Dallas, and the entire UT um, system, the entire A&M system. You've got um, a lot of medical research from a lot of those uh, higher education institutions. You've got incredible law schools, graduate schools. Um, you've got Texas Women's University. I'm going to forget dozens, so please don't send me hate mail. There's so many, there's no way that I could get to all of them. Um, but there are incredible, you know, higher education opportunities uh, all across the state of Texas. There are big schools, little schools, private schools, public schools, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, we have a, a, an embarrassment of riches when it comes to well-respected 
institutions that are worthy of your attention when it comes to college or graduate school. You know, we're well known for uh, high school football. It's kind of a cliche, a stereotype. There have been entire movies and TV shows made about small town football in the state of Texas, and it's exciting, it's fun. Uh, it is almost entirely good and wholesome celebration of kids and communities. Uh, there's certainly a dark side to that, and the movies and TV have sometimes exaggerated that. Uh, but our communities celebrate our children, our schools, at virtually every level. You know, you've probably been around some conversation at some point where someone from Texas was borderline obnoxious about their state pride. And I'll tell you, the good thing is that that happens at every level. State pride, city pride, community pride, school pride, team pride. And uh, I would tell you that from the outside in, that might be annoying. But if you're thinking about making a move here, uh, you'll be excited to be a part of that and see the way communities rally around schools and families and institutions. Uh, and it's a tremendous attribute, a tremendous value of being a resident of Texas as a state, of counties, cities, neighborhoods, communities, schools, really all the way down to the smallest level. So uh, schools at almost every level, really, really uh, a great thing to consider as one of the many attractive features of the state of Texas and so many of our cities here within the state. So uh, again, comment below if you've got questions or comments or confusion. We'd love to earn your business if you're thinking about making a move here uh, and education is important to you. We can help you uh, find resources and information to make the right choice for you and your family.